Shelsea, and today I'm sharing with you day three for November 3rd of the November Daily Art Journal Challenge. A challenge that I'm doing with my friends Peg, Lizzie, and Sherry. And we found out in the previous two videos, I told you that there was no Nano Jamo, which is what we did last year. Um, we couldn't find it, there was no list, there was no Facebook group that we could find for the year, so we decided to just make up our own prompts and just do it that way, which we kind of did last year anyway. But there is now Nano Jamo. She, she posted it on uh, the afternoon of the 31st, so if you want to do theirs, that's fine. Or if you'd like to join us, we're going to be doing Instagram and just search for the hashtag hashtag daily art journal and you can see all our pages and the prompts as well and you can join us and post using that hashtag on Instagram or anywhere else and yours will show up too so for this prompt for November 3rd it is furniture and the first thing that I could think of and the only thing I can think of about furniture, I mean, you know, you got your couches and your beds and whatever, I don't know. But I wanted a throne <laughs> because although my family doesn't agree, I, I think I'm a, a, a queen or at least a princess. I mean, come on, you know. <laughs> Sometime in my past life, maybe, I don't know. Right now, I'm just, I'm not. But I really think I am. So I decided to do a magazine clipping collage this video is fairly quick. I think it's it ends up being like 13 or 14 minutes, but the actual process was way longer than that. <laughs> I had to look through magazines, find things, cut them out, do a lot of fussy cutting. Um, so it took a lot longer. But the after I did after I kind of like wiggled around and tried to find some different things and put them together, then I started to do my background, and I started with a page from my mixed media journal that I tore out. This is the one that I used for Pick a Stick Challenge and Mission Inspiration. So I think it's 9 by 12. Um, the, the things that I were finding, I was finding from the magazine really wasn't going to fit on my pages in my, um, my journal that I'm trying to finish, the one with the jelly prints in it. So I'm doing it on just a plain sheet and then I'll just bind this with the rest of the um, <clears throat> pick a stick and mission inspiration ones for the year um, when the year ends I'm gonna bind that entire thing all together so I found this jelly print I tore it up and glued it on using Liquitex matte gel my favorite collaging glue this is a jelly print from peg when we did um, gel with shell print with peg the collaboration that we did where we sent each other jelly prints and um, this is one of hers and I just tore it into strips, glued it on there, and then now I'm using some golden uh, high flow paint to fill in the stripes. I knew that I wanted a really dark background, but I didn't want it just black. I wanted it to have pattern and, and uh, maybe some metallic accents, and that print has a metallic pattern on it in gold. So I thought it would be perfect. So then I just filled in the rest with black uh, drips and splatters, and then now I'm going to put some gold splatters using the fine gold, uh, golden high flow paint with my fan brush. I will put the materials below if I talk too fast. <laughs> so I've got gold splatters, black drips, and then a jelly print background, which I'm satisfied with that. So I'm going to start putting on my, um, I'm going to start building my throne. and my concept was to build a very jeweled fancy throne for um, my my princess slash queen um, that I am inside just inside <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use jewelry from the magazines so this is a uh, some diamond bangles that I cut out and depending depending on how big each picture is you're getting a perspective that's different obviously we know that those will fit on our wrist but I'm going to use that picture and then the perspective with the girl is that the bangles are huge with gigantic diamonds on them. I mean, you know, worth billions. <laughs> you would even find diamonds this big, you know what I'm saying? So this is a just a fun, silly, goofy page just 
for fun. That was a piece of gold jewelry that I cut out to t kind of make the base for my throne and then everything is going to be you know welded together and then here are some more diamonds I think they might have been parts of earrings maybe um, maybe some more bangles I'm not sure but anyway I'm, I'm using them to make the uh, armrests now I'm not going to put a cushion on my throne although we know that she would be sitting on a very soft comfy cushion that makes her bottom feel very nice but you can't see her bottom once I put her on, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> whether you can see the cushion or not. There would be a cushion there, obviously, for her to sit on. I'm not going to make her sit on hard diamonds. So I cut out this girl. Um, I wanted a different face because I found a really cute one that had these big glasses, and I was going to use that instead to make it more whimsical. I also didn't like her legs and feet that she had in the picture, so I cut off her legs. Oh, cruel, very cruel, <laughs> and added someone else's legs and feet, which I thought were more more cute by just tucking them under the bottoms of the dress. Um, she was wearing pants, like suit pants and boots in the picture with that cute silk um, camisole type dress. I thought that was silly. You know, fashion's weird. So then the crown was a neck choker thing that was on another picture and then I had the head cut out and obviously the head's bigger than the body but I intended that I wanted it to be you know a little offbeat and interesting and not just some picture cut from a magazine but more of like a, a collage of different elements and obviously if I think I'm a queen I must have a very big head so you know what I'm saying here she needed to have a bigger head Plus, I just thought those glasses were hilarious. Unfortunately, that head does not make it into the final composition because I ruin it and have to tear it off. But I cut out letters saying I am the queen and put those on in kind of a random ransom note kind of a way, which I think is really fun and cute. But again, that took a lot of time. You know, you're not seeing the time that it took for me to flip through the magazine and look through all the stuff. I also had cut out this vase for the other side just to give the room more interest. And then I, I decided to put this big flower on the other side to fill in that space and give a little bit of color. So there is a... Um, what, what happened with the face is that it got too wet. I'm struggling with magazine images and what to stick them with. When I try to use the glue stick, which I think is probably the best thing, I get them wrinkled and torn and it doesn't work right. So then I go and try to use a decoupage glue. And in this case, the face got too wet and it, it wrinkled and tore. And then now I'm trying to fix it and it's just getting worse and worse. So I had to tear it off. So I found a different head not as cute but then I found some glasses and put these big glasses on her uh, glasses from a different picture so that she would be cute so it's kind of the same concept but a different different head different glasses but still cute and the red glasses match down with the red flowers at the bottom so it it's uh, working pretty well and then I'm just touching up the skin underneath the neck where, where the connection is. And then I'm going to have to touch up the hair because you can still see some of the blonde hair. And this new girl has dark hair. So that's not going to work. So I end up adding some Neo Color 2 crayon to fill out the hair and cover up the blondish light brown hair that's underneath, which isn't working. And then I end up using highlights with the metallic gold Neo Color 2, which I've never used before. <laughs> but it worked fine. It's, if you put them on directly instead of using them as a watercolor, they are a lot more strong. And then if you use it as a watercolor, it's more it's more translucent. Because you're, you know, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> um, you're diluting the pigment by adding water. So... Then to finish up and to make my picture stand out against the dark background, I decided to outline everything in white. Uh, if I had a Sakura um, gel pen, I think 
it might work better on this rough surface because I did have a little bit of splatters where the Posca pins tip hit so, so many rough spots, but it wasn't bad. But I might have used that if I had one, but I don't have one anymore because the one that I did have dried out. So living in Arizona, things dry out a lot. That's just what happens. So I just go around outlining um, pretty much everything in white. And then I did do a little bit of outlining in the metallic gold Posca because I do have gold in the background. I started to outline my letters in white, but I didn't like the way they looked. So I switched. That's when I switched and got out the gold Posca pin. And that looked better, I thought. I also ended up putting a gold border all the way around the page with, um, with a ruler. And um, I don't believe that made it. I think that's after I had already turned the camera off and then I realized that I hadn't outlined her crown and so I had to do that and then I also then ended up putting in the gold border but that's pretty self-explanatory you can see what I'm doing <laughs> I'm outlining things and I've got some gold but mostly white these shoes are cute they uh, have little lace-ups that you can't really see so I ended up putting white over the lace-ups a lot cuter than what she was wearing in the actual picture. It was dumb suit pants. Why would you wear suit pants underneath a dress? I don't get it. Sometimes fashion people confuse me. <laughs> of course, I basically wear shorts and t-shirts all the time because I live in Arizona, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going to buy this stuff. And I have that little jeweled dog. I thought it was cute on, the, um, on top of the uh, armrest. Of course, perspective-wise, you'd never find a pearl that big. But, you know, it's it's all just goofy and whimsical and silly. So, um, Remember to look in the description box below for any videos with the same prompt that my friends have made. The links will be there. And if you want, come and join us on this 30-day challenge. And you can search that hashtag in Instagram. Or you can just search it on Google and it'll come up. Also, like, subscribe, comment, share, so that uh, people in YouTube can find me by YouTube telling them that I exist. <laughs> and I think that's it for me. Here comes your close-ups. Thanks. Bye-bye.